Right, so this is your hip joint here. It's the joint between your femur, which is your thigh bone, and your acetabulum, which is just the Latin name, which means hip socket. Okay. So it's called the femoroacetabular joint because the femur and the acetabulum. Anyway, it doesn't matter what it's called. <laughs> but um, this bit here is the bony bump in your front of your pelvis. So feel if the front of your hip, you can feel that bony bump that pokes out forwards. Bony bump that pumps out forward is called the ASIS, the anterior superior iliac spine, because this is the ilium, this part of the pelvis. Spine just means ridge. So this is the iliac spine. Okay, anterior means forward, superior means upward. So this literally, the anterior superior iliac spine literally means the forwardmost, upwardmost, pokey outy bit of the pelvis. That's what it translates from Latin. Okay, so the forwardmost pokey outy bit at the top, that's the anterior superior iliac spine. Okay. And on the outside of your hips, you can, if you feel a bone there, you'll feel a bone. If you feel, you'll feel a bone there. So this is not up where your waistband of your pants is. This is down kind of, if you're a gunslinger, where your cowboy or cowgirl belt would be. Okay, down here. Can you feel that bone? It's this bone here. Can you feel that bone? That's called the greater trochanter. Trochanter just means big bony bump. And there's your greater trochanter. And you've got a lesser one as well. That's the lesser trochanter there. So this is the, just the bigger bony bump. And this is this smaller bony bump, okay? And so that, what we commonly think of as your hip, or sometimes people think of that as their hip, neither of those things is your hip. This is your femur, your thigh bone, that's not your hip. Your hip is actually about two, an inch and a half, two inches more medial towards the center, okay? So if this is your greater trochanter here, that's mine, my hip joint is there, okay? If that's the greater trochanter there, the hip joint is there. And you can feel like when you bend your leg, there's kind of a crease there, and below the crease is your leg, and above the crease is your torso. Okay, karate chop yourself in that crease and bend your leg. You can feel like that's the axis of where your hip moves, right? Below your hand is your leg, and above your hand is your torso. So now find your greater trochanter and go now sort of sideways till you get to that hip crease, and then up about a centimetre, and there's your hip. There's your, that's where your hip socket is. Okay. So your hip sockets are actually like quite narrow, right? They're a lot narrower than most people kind of think of them. You know, you think of your hips as out here, no, actually your hips are here. All right, so the hip socket, now there's a muscle, there are a whole bunch of muscles that move the hip and one of them is called the psoas, you've probably heard of it. And the psoas is a muscle that originates on, remember we said this part of the spine is called the lumbar spine, the lower back. Have you ever heard like in a 19th century novel where someone's walking around, they're going, oh, my lumbago is killing me? Yes. Yep. Lumbago is just like sore lower back because your lumbar spine, right, lumbago, so just that's like low back pain we call it now. We don't call it lumbago. It's the same thing. Uh, anyway, so you've got your psoas, which originates, actually it starts on the 12th thoracic vertebra, you know, the bottom rib, you know, not on the rib itself, but on the the front of the vertebral body and the, uh, sorry, the sides of the vertebral body and the front of this, see these pokey outy bits on the side here? They're called transverse processes. A process just is another kind of bony bump. There's about 101 names for bony bumps in the body. Like trochanter means bony bump, you know. Spine kind of means bony bump. Process means bony bump. They're all just different shapes of bony bumps. Um, and transverse means round and round in a circle. Okay, and when the muscles pull on these processes, it turns the spine round and round in a circle. So they're called the transverse processes. Okay. So anyway, the psoas muscle originates on the sides of the vertebral body and on the fronts of the transverse processes, okay, and on the intervertebral discs of the 12th thoracic vertebra and the first four, one, two, three, four, Lumbar vertebrae, that's where the muscle attaches to. Following me so far? Okay. And then there's muscle fibers that go down through your pelvis here. Okay. And then round about here, the muscle fibers end and it becomes a tendon, you know, the tendon part of the muscle. And so that tendon part goes over here and inserts, which is just, it's insert just means the other end of the muscle, okay, on the lesser trochanter there. Inserts on the lesser trochanter. Now, you'll notice that the muscle, or the, actually not the muscle, the tendon, 
goes right across the hip socket. Can you see that? Right across the hip socket. Now, as you go here, it just kind of goes donk, like a double bass string, donk, as it kind of flicks across the hip socket sometimes. Can you kind of picture that? It just goes donk, right? It literally is like a double bass string because I used to make double bass strings out of tendons, you know, cat gut, they used to call it, yeah. So, so it literally makes a double bass sound, thunk, right? So it's really kind of deep thunking sound sometimes. And sometimes it's more of a cracking sound, okay? But it's not actually coming from inside your hip socket. It's coming from the tendon of the psoas muscle just going thunk, thunk, thunk across as the femur, the femoral head rolls around. And you can see that this is mostly spherical, but this back part of it's not spherical, okay? And there's a little corner, there's an edge here. There's a little lip. And as it passes by that lip, and where it, when it passes by that lip, it's when the leg is in this laterally rotated or turned out, abducted, brought out to the side, and flexed position. So it's in this position, right? That's when your hip clacks, right? When it's here. Because that's when the psoas tendon, because look where the lesser trochanter is, it's being pulled tight right across that structure. Does that make sense? So it's nothing to worry about whatsoever. It's just a tendon going flick, flick, flick across a joint. No big deal. Make sense? Any questions about that? I think it, it's a good one to know because clients, a lot, you know, a lot of you guys, and you guys are making the transition from being clients to instructors, but a lot of clients are kind of have this and they're kind of concerned about it. But actually people are concerned about it mainly not because it hurts, because for most people it doesn't hurt. They're concerned because it's worrisome. You know, think, oh, that can't be good. <laughs> You know, my hip's making a thunking noise. And maybe people imagine their hip joint is coming out of place or something. There's nothing to do with that. Hip joint's not coming out of place. The labrum? Yeah. The labrum? Yeah. Yeah. So no, the labrum wouldn't make a noise like that, no. Not, no. When the bone just clicks inside? No. If you have no. Now, if you had searing agony every time you made a clunk, then I would think maybe it's a, something more inside the joint. Okay, but 99% of people, it's, there's no pain associated with it. It's just a noise, right? Does that make sense? So if someone's got a noise and there's no pain, don't worry about it, it's nothing. Cool? If they get quite significant pain every time they get the noise, well, then maybe they should go see a physio about it. But if someone just says, like, I don't feel the pain, but I have a discomfort there, and sometimes the discomfort is just because you hear this sound yeah. and it makes you feel yeah. like... That's why I said significant pain, yeah. you know, if they have severe pain. I'm not talking about a little discomfort. I mean, anyone ever get any discomfort in your body? Yeah, it's normal. It's normal to have discomfort in your body. You know, it tells you you're alive. <laughs> yeah. So if you have severe pain in your hip, accompanied, I mean, with or without clicking, you should probably go see a physio about that. You know, but it's not the clicking, it's the severe pain that's the problem. Make sense? If you don't have severe pain, with or without clicking, oh, don't worry about it. There's no pain. Who cares? Cool? 